I'm going to be making one of my favorite dishes, stir fry tofu with broccoli and sliced almonds. I usually use the sliver almonds, but this time I just wanted to try something a little bit different, so I'm gonna try these. I usually use one package of the organic firm tofu, steamed broccoli, only one package of that, and the slithered almonds about, I'm sorry, the sliced almonds. I am going to be using this grapeseed oil to stir fry it because this can withstand like really, really high temperatures. So I prefer this over the co coconut, coconut oil. I mean, it's really good. It's really great. It is healthy. Consistency of it when it dries. I mean, I'm sorry, the consistency of it when it cools off is relatively thick, even though when you touch it, it does become oily due to the heat. And of course, when you cook with it, it's going to also be the same. It will actually become a liquid form. However, uh, my concern with it is the level of of saturated fat in it and I'm concerned about using anything that has a lot of saturated fat and also the consistency because something like that can clog arteries in the heart and I'm a big 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 fan of trying to keep myself healthy and especially because I'm in this position and um, predisposition to have a health issue so I kind of take that really, really seriously because it does run in my family on my dad of what I'm eating, and especially when you're dealing with oils and things like this. I mean, oh my goodness, this is really oily. And that is what because it doesn't smoke, you could put it as high as you want. And because I use cast iron to cook those cast iron skillets, let me tell you, they can hold a lot of heat. And this is the perfect stuff to use because it will not burn and it will not smoke. So I like this, especially the saturated fat level in here. It's two grams, which is really not that, that bad, but there is some in it. It's 10% and as you can see, it flows. It's not even heated and it's moving around. So that to me is a good sign as something that is not gonna be a risk to like hard and RV and stuff. I mean, I don't wanna sound like a like I'm a health food nut or anything, but I'm very, very conscious of what I eat, what I do, what I ingest, what I put on my body, and all those things. I'm very, very That is very high for saturated fat. I mean, there's other stuff that's really good, like trans fat is zero grams, uh, cholesterol is zero, sodium is zero. So, I mean, there are good health benefits. This one, trans fat is zero. Polyunsaturated is 10 grams, monosaturated fat is 10 grams. If you want to know more about those types of fat, I would say look them up and learn a little bit more about it, especially if you're trying to live a healthy heart lifestyle and you're think, eating and trying to be conscious of what you're eating that would be great and it's just um i also have garlic here this is about this is about chicken breast. I'm making this for my daughter. So sometimes when I make the tofu, I have to make two separate dishes because she does not like it. She says it tastes like cardboard. No matter what I do, what I see, she says it, it tastes like cardboard. So I will definitely be making this for her. And what I'm going to do is use the peppers and the tomatoes and the onions and, and I'm going to boil it with that. And then I'm also going to try, now I don't know how this is going 
going to taste, but I am going to actually try incorporating just a little bit of the tomato, the green pepper, and the onion into my dish. We'll see how the stir, this stir fry tofu turns out with that, with that added. everything up and I'm gonna come back and I'll let you know how it all tastes with the variation of those peppers, onions, and tomatoes being added to the broccoli. Oh, and I also have rice. I usually have rice, like a brown rice or a couscous that I eat with the circle tofu. But this time, just try mm, a tablespoon or two of the rice that I need and that's uh, sort of like a uh, it's a yellow rice with some beans and it has a little bit of pepper a little bit of green pepper tomato I added that in and, and a little bit of cilantro and it's all fresh and I cook that up all I have all that and I'll show you how that that came out and let you know how it tastes and this is my daughter's opinion on what she thinks as well Thank you for watching. Mm, it's looking really good. And look how high the flame is. This flame is at, I would say six, and it's been cooking up really good. There's no smoking or, or anything as you can see, and it's doing really well. And of course I have the cast iron pan, so you know what that means. I, I have to take it old school, but I use those pans anyway. You can probably see the other ones on the, on the stove. I haven't actually needed to use them to prepare this, but I do use those as well, the smaller ones as well because they are beasts when it comes to cooking.